Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into Python web development, you've probably heard of tools like Gunicorn and Uvicorn. These are super popular web servers for running Python apps, but they serve different purposes. In today's video, we're diving into what Gunicorn and Uvicorn are, how they differ, and when to use each one. Whether you're building with Flask, Django, or FastAPI, this video will help you pick the right server for your project. If you're New here, hit that subscribe button and let's jump right in. First up, let's talk about Gunicorn. Gunicorn, short for Green Unicorn, is a WSGI server for Python. WSGI stands for Web Server Gateway Interface, which is a standard for synchronous Python web applications. Gunicorn is designed to run apps built with frameworks like Flask, Django, or Pyramid. It's super reliable for production environments because it can handle multiple requests by spawning worker processes. Think of it as a workhorse that powers traditional synchronous Python web apps. Now let's move to Uvicorn. Uvicorn is an ASGI server, where ASGI stands for Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface. This is a newer standard built for asynchronous Python apps, which are great for handling things like real-time data or WebSockets. UviCorn is the go-to server for frameworks like FastAPI or Starlet. It's lightweight, fast, and perfect for async apps, but it's often used in development because it has features like auto-reloading when you change your code. So how do Gunicorn and Uvicorn stack up? Let's break down the key differences to help you understand when to use each one. I've put together a comparison based on some critical features, so let's go through them. Server type. Gunicorn is a WSGI server built for synchronous apps like Flask or Django. Uvicorn, on the other hand, is an ASGI server designed for asynchronous frameworks like FastAPI or Starlet. Best for. If you're working on a traditional web app with synchronous code, Gunicorn is your friend. But for async apps that need to handle things like WebSockets or real-time updates, Uvicorn is the way to go. Concurrency. Gunicorn shines in production by running multiple worker processes to handle lots of requests at once. Uvicorn, by default, runs as a single process server, which is great for development but might need extra setup for high traffic production. Production versus development. Gunicorn is a production powerhouse, often paired with a reverse proxy like Nginx. Uvicorn is awesome for development because it can auto reload your app when you change code, but in production, it's usually paired with something like Gunicorn for better scalability. Frameworks. Use Gunicorn for Flask, Django, or Pyramid. Use Uvicorn for FastAPI or Starlet. Scalability. Gunicorn is built to handle a large number of connections efficiently. Uvicorn's scalability is more limited, unless you add tools like a reverse proxy or multiple workers. Adaptability. Fun fact. Uvicorn can run WSGI apps with an adapter, so it's a bit more flexible. Gunicorn sticks to WSGI apps and does that job really well. These differences make it clear. Gunicorn is your go-to for production-grade, synchronous apps, while Uvicorn is perfect for async apps, especially during development. So, when should you use Gunicorn or Uvicorn? If you're building a Flask or Django app and need a robust server for production, go with Gunicorn. It's battle-tested and scales well. If you're working on a fast API project or need async features, start with Uvicorn, especially for development. In production, you might even combine them, using Uvicorn for the async app and Gunicorn to manage workers. Cool, right? That's it for today's video. We covered what Gunicorn and Uvicorn are, their key differences, and when to use each. I hope this helps you choose the right server for your next Python project. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more Python tutorials, and let me know in the comments what you're building with Gunicorn or Uvicorn. Want a challenge? Try setting up a simple fast API app with Uvicorn and share your experience. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.